gang. What's up, baby? How are you? <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. If this is your first time viewing, hey, how you doing? I'm Mocha. I would like to thank everyone for like, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. Uh, this will be generals from the 1st to the 15th of July, 2018. I really, really, really miss you guys. Hopefully, the love is mutual. Um, for those of you who are new subscribers, Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Welcome to the family. We cry, we laugh, we joke, we enlighten, we uplift. That's what family does. You may fall out. Some people, you may not agree with everybody in the comments, but the whole point is that you take something from it and that you learn. We're just wanting to ascend here, okay? So um, if you need a personal reading, all of that information will be found in the description box below okay this will be from the 1st to the 15th of july 2018 this is general if you need a personal hit me up it may or may not resonate if it does not apply let it fly i hate long intro so we in a rock this is for the sun moon rising and venus in the sign of taurus boo gang baby bam let's get it <laughs> so i've already shuffled but i'm gonna I'm going to shuffle again. So, Spirit, please give me clear and accurate messages for For those of you who cross watch for a Virgo, I had to cuss some trolling ass people out over there. Okay, you know, this is. Um, we real over here. We keep it R E A E L at all times of the day. Okay, so you know, don't come for me, and I won't come for you. All right. Um, so I apologize for those of you who don't like, you know, people to be rude or whatever. But they were being rude. It's a lot of energy vampires out here, Taurus. I felt the need to tell you that. So stay woke. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's get it. Spirit, please show me what Taurus can expect from the first to the fifteenth of July. Thank you. Okay. Who tours? Taurus, all right, Taurus, somebody got to make a decision. Pull you an angel message as well, and I'll keep that until the end. From the Doreen Virtue um, Crystal Angels Tarot deck. Angel message. All right. <clears throat> Hold me at the top here. All right, Taurus, let's get into it. Let's rock. All right, for Taurus. From the 1st to the 15th of July, um, 2018, some of this energy could be going on right now. I find that uh, a lot of people tell me, Mocha, when you read for me, it's going on right now in the future. So take it how it may, but this is for the 1st to the 15th of July, all right? Taurus, some of y'all, some of y'all are finding out that y'all pregnant from the 1st to the 15th of July. Congratulations, baby. Okay, Mocha love the kids, but keep them over there. I love to send them back to Bye, babies. Okay, some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all could be finding out y'all pregnant. Okay, some of you guys are going to possibly be getting truth and clarity regarding the pregnancy, maybe from someone who you left in the month of June, okay, or if you moved away from someone in the month of June, especially if they're Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you moved away from this person, you possibly met someone else, possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay, or this could, you could have moved away to someone from your past that you felt was your soulmate, and for you, those of you who felt like, you know, me and this person, this water sign, have a divine connection. You feel like you knew this person before. You're absolutely right. There is a divine connection around this. For some of y'all, you're happy with this water sign that you met. And it, for some of y'all, this is definitely someone from your past, okay? And you could have picked this person and just being real with yourself or could be real with yourself. You know, you could be picking this person.
balancing out of a lot of options. I feel like Tory Shop got a lot of options around. I definitely see Capricorn towards Virgo. I definitely see Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I see fire energy. For those of you who moved away from a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius in the month of June, there is going to be victory in a turnaround in your situation. I feel like some of y'all were going to be waiting on some pregnancy information or truth regarding a pregnancy around an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. And I'm going to be honest with you, there could be... I feel like if you're dealing with an earth sign, either you or this person, there's going to be truth and clarity about someone juggling uh, to you and another, or you, there's going to be somewhat, you, truth could come out also towards, even if this is you, okay? The truth is definitely coming out about someone juggling, possibly you and another earth sign, or possibly you, yourself and another water sign, but definitely earth and water was being juggled. I feel like for some of y'all, some of y'all could have moved away. Some of y'all are going to be actually literally moving, okay? And there's victory in um, you getting your own place. I do see that. Some of y'all just want to move into a family situation, possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There is victory within that in the month of July. Um, it's, this emphasis on this water sign some of y'all are wanting to move forward with a person who is juggling you and someone else. However, you're going to need that truth and clarity. And I feel like that situation has to do with a baby. So before you can even move forward with that person, I feel like some of y'all trying to move forward with an earth sign. But you might have an earth sign pregnant or you might have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or another water sign pregnant. And this person is coming at you on some you my soulmate I've been dreaming about you I love you you everything to me and to be honest with you whether you go with the earth sign some of y'all gonna choose the earth sign but you're gonna, you're gonna need that truth and clarity because I feel like you left someone because you found out some truth and clarity or you will be moving away from somebody in the month of July and for some of y'all some of y'all moving away to go test out and see if the grass is green on the other side and hell no it's not it's a bunch of fake ass grass and artificial grass over there so for those of you who are wondering um should I go with someone from my past if they're a water sign and you feel like this person is a soulmate and you just moved away from maybe a Gemini Libra Aquarius okay maybe that's safe if you're going towards a fire sign, possibly someone who you have children with, or maybe this person this person makes you feel abundant, some of y'all will be moving toward fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, and there's victory in that. For those, ooh, excuse me, for those, because it literally just jumped out my hand, my little, my little amethyst. For those um, of you who are literally moving, congratulations, baby. Independence is yours, baby. But yeah, for those of you who are dealing with a situation with someone juggling and it being around a pregnancy situation, um, to be honest with you, for some of y'all, this could be a catalytic situation. Some of y'all are going to get truth and clarity possibly from the divine. Trust your dreams right now. So it's trust everything that the smallest things that you would normally overlook right now. Now is not the time to overlook the small things. OK, um, and what I mean by that is like if some of y'all been having dreams of you leaving someone or you moving on from someone or your gut when you listening to these videos and they keep telling you, hey, you finna leave an earth sign, you finna leave an earth sign, you finna leave an earth sign. Know that God is trying to tell you something. For some of y'all, this water sign slipped into this earth sign like you're dealing with um, Virgo Taurus Cap. This water sign slipped into this person's life to be a catalyst for you to move forward towards your soulmate. Because for some of y'all, y'all also have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a Gemini Libra Aquarius or a fire sign where you need to be at, okay? <clears throat> Let's get some clarifiers. I'm trying to lose my voice on the cooler. Hopefully, I don't sound like a uh, <clears throat> a 18 year old little teenage boy or whatever. But whatever, if I do, I'm shit. I'm getting it out. My throat chakra is popping. Oh man, too many fail for Taurus. Too many fail. Hold on, baby. Hold on, Taurus. I'm getting y'all together because a lot of them cards fail. Look at my little rock cords down here. Got a big like janky promoter say, fix your titties. <laughs> fix your boobies. <laughs> Y'all know Mocha from the South. Ain't no embarrassing me. I grew up in an interesting household. And my daddy take his shirt off in the restaurant. Y'all don't know now. Okay. <laughs> and my daddy's a Capricorn. He turns up. I swear I'm going to have to look at him twice. Because I really, I wouldn't be surprised if he ain't got no fire in there somewhere. Because he's crazy. <laughs> Shout out to all the daddies in the world. I love my daddy. <clears throat> yeah, please clarify. It's Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. Yeah. 
Ace of Cups again. I got that at the bottom. Yeah, for some of y'all, some of y'all, this is going to be, especially for my earth signs who are possibly pregnant for a water sign. I feel like you're pregnant possibly from someone in your past, but maybe you was already dealing with another earth sign. Uh, I get strong emphasis on Virgo. Y'all going to find out for some of y'all that baby. Some of y'all, that baby is yours, but for some of y'all, this baby belongs to a water sign, and this is this person's divine partner, okay? And for you, some of y'all who possibly got somebody pregnant while you was dealing with the earth sign, this person is your divine partner. That person, unfortunately, had to be a catalyst to make you make a move to go forward because you was kind of staying stagnant and some shit that didn't serve you anymore. <clears throat> Spirit, please clarify this Ace of Swords. What is the Ace of Swords for my Taurus? Please clarify the Ace of Swords. Well, definitely. I feel like some of y'all are being defensive toward the person. For some of y'all, it's a fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Or this person could be defensive towards you because they just really want the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. However I got to get it, I'm going to get it. And I feel like somebody is being very defensive. Somebody is kind of, I feel the confrontational little energy from that. Okay, but yeah, for some of y'all, y'all moving away definitely towards a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of y'all, y'all already have kids with this person. And y'all already know that this is your soulmate. But for some of y'all, y'all kind of being defensive towards this person. Because for some of y'all feel like this person is kind of defensive when you tell them the truth. Like, it's some truth they don't want to hear. I feel like that's if you're dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. But I feel like it's a lot of, some of y'all got a lot of, some truth that you are going to be giving out that may not be so damn nice, okay? Or you may be receiving it, possibly from uh, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or another Earth sign like yourself. <clears throat> what is this Ace of Cups? Okay, the Empress. So, for some of y'all, a pregnancy came out of a situation, okay, Taurus, and this is definitely on your ass, okay? But some of y'all, for again, without you, you know, what's going on? <laughs> for those of you who are pregnant, congratulations. But for those of you who are dealing with the water sign, possibly one that you have children with, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you're getting a redo with this. And this person is definitely from your past. <clears throat> for some of y'all, y'all being defensive, okay? With this person, I feel like in the month of July, you're going to be very defensive with this person. And it's definitely emphasis on having a chip child with this person. Okay, you have the King of Cups. So I feel like there is there's a lot of love here, okay? And I feel like some of y'all might be leaving the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and meeting another one as well. Um, but there's a lot of love here, especially if you already have a family with this person. However, you just want to move forward in a victorious way. I feel like some of y'all are juggling the decision. Do I go? Do I stay? Yes. Do I go? Do I stay? Do I go? Do I stay? Okay. Um, and I feel like some of y'all are really passionate about moving forward, possibly with a fire sign as well. Aries, still saying some of y'all are juggling water, earth, and fire. Yeah, there you go again, okay? So some of y'all are just going to continuously juggle between the 1st and 15th. Y'all like, fuck it, I'm not going to make a decision, okay? But if you make a decision to, with, towards whatever you're passionate about, you are going to be successful, okay? Some of y'all, I feel like, are really worrying and you really have nothing to worry about, I feel like. But some of y'all, y'all know y'all had to make a move. The move has pretty much made its way on you and y'all don't know what the hell to do. But for some of y'all, y'all got somewhere to be. Y'all have a twin flame soulmate union to be in, okay? All right, so the angel message that I have for y'all is citrine. All right, this is a citrine. This is one of my Aries stones, actually. Ooh, pop intuition be uh 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 popping with my citrine goofy y'all <laughs> but it says unnecessary worries release the burden of worries by giving them to god for healing and solutions okay so here's that card it's a beautiful card too i like the imagery the colors in it is popping see the rainbow y'all it has to rain before the rainbow okay the sun is gonna shine again you're going to have a new, okay? For some of y'all, it's a new baby, okay? But stop worrying. 
allow the universe to have your back. Allow God to really take you whole. You embrace the situation and turn around, turn it around the way you need it to be. Okay. I love y'all, Taurus. This is what I have from the first to the fifteenth of July. All right. If you need a personal reading, again, that information can be found in the description. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video. And love y'all. Deuces.